Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power 6 plus x to the power 4, this is equal to 12. So what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 4, this is equal to 12. We can express x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 then plus x to the power of 4 this can be expressed as x to the power of 2 this to the power of 2 this is equal to 12. now we have x to the power of 2 here and x to the power of 2 here so we let x to the power of 2 be equal to u let's substitute u into this equation here so we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2. This is equal to 12. So let's take 12 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 12. This is equal to 0. Now this is u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 12 which is minus 8, minus 4, this is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 8, which is 2 to the power of 3, minus 4, which is 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3 here, so we can combine this as u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now, we have two parts here. This is the difference of two cubes, expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And we also have the second part here. This is the difference of two perfect squares. So this implies that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this can be expressed as a minus b. Then here we have a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared. So this implies that u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, this can be expressed as u minus 2. Then here we have u squared, then plus 2u, then plus 2 squared, which is 4. Let's call this equation 1. Now, the second part here is the difference of two perfect squares that we have as a squared minus b squared that we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Now, applying this identity, then we have that u squared minus 2 to the power of 2. This can be expressed as u plus 2 multiplied by u minus 2. Let's call this equation 2. Now, let's combine equation 1 and equation 2 here, so that we have u minus 2. Here we have u squared plus 2u plus 4. Then plus, here we have u plus 2 multiplied by u minus 2. This is equal to 0. We have that u minus 2 is common here, so we can factor out u minus 2. So that here, into the parentheses, here we have u to the power of 2, plus 2u, plus 4. Then here we have plus u, plus 2. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. Now, here we have two parts here. This is u minus 2. Then we have u squared. Now, 2u plus u, this is plus 3u, then plus 4 plus 2, this is 6, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is u minus 2, this is equal to 0. And the second part here is u squared plus 3u plus 6, this is equal to 0. Now, we have that x here is a member of real numbers 
And this implies that in this case, from the first part here, we have that u is equal to 2. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c. This is equal to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and that c is equal to 6. Now, let's assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation here, so that now we determine the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4 is c. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c, so that now here we have 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 6. So 3 squared here, this is 9, minus 6 times 4, this is 24. 9 minus 24, this is minus 15, which is less than 0. So this means that here, we have two complex roots. We have two complex roots. And this implies that there is no real solution. There is no real solution from this quadratic equation here. So this means that we can proceed with u equal to equal to 2. Now we have that u is equal to 2. And if you recall, if you recall, we have seen that let x to the power of 2 be equal to u. Yeah, we have seen that let x squared be equal to u. So let's substitute u so that we have x squared. This is equal to 2. So, so for x here, we introduce a square root on both sides. So that we have the square root of x squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. So here we have that the value of x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. So we have two values of x here. We have square root of 2. And we have that x is equal to negative root 2. So let's verify here that these two values of x here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. So let's start with this root 2 here. So we have root 2 raised to the power of 6 plus root 2 here raised to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 12. Now, we have that root 2 is in the form of root a, which we can express as a to the power of half. So applying this property, then here we have 2 to the power of r raised to the power of 6, then plus 2 to the power of a half, raised to the power of 4, this should give us a value of 12. So let's simplify here. 6 divided by 2 here, this is 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3 plus. Now, 4 divided by 2 here, this is 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. Now, 2 to the power of 3, this is 8 plus. 2 to the power of 2, this is 4. And this is supposed to give us a value of 12. Now, 8 plus 4, this is 12, which is equal to 12. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x here, which is root 2 here, satisfies the equation. Let's take the value of x, which is minus root 2 from here. Now, let's verify x, which is minus root 2 here. Now, we have x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 12. So, we have minus root 2 here raised to the power of 6 plus minus root 2 raised to the power of 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. Now, this is the same thing as minus, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of a half raised to the power of 6, then plus here we have 
minus 2 to the power of a half. This is the power of 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. So let's simplify here. 6 divided by 2. This is 3. And then we have minus 1 to the power of 6. This is 1. So we have here 2 to the power of 3. Then plus. Now, minus 1 to the power of 4. This is plus 1. And then we have 2 to the power of a half times 4. This means we have 2 to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. 2 to the power of 3, this is 8. Plus 2 to the power of 2, this is 4. And this is supposed to give us a value of 12. So 8 plus 4, this is equal to 12. And this is equal to 12. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x here, which is minus root 2 here, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.